So hi and welcome back to Scene and Outs. Shrike 1 is heading back from a crashed corvette. It was one of my quicker missions I think. Even if I blew up a lot of aliens with my uh, hunter scout car. And since there is a lot of alien activity over here, I should almost look for any bases here. But also I'm concerned about my Shrike 1's safety so I will send a Corsair from Indochina over here to try to escort him a bit and also I'm going to build uh, another hangar in uh, Eurasia because Indochina because I see that the uh, hangars are kind of cheap uh, I don't have enough money for building more much more much many <laughs> um, building more aircraft really but I can transfer a couple over here so because of all this activity it feels like I might actually need it so now we can patrol over here yeah. fuel level 50% so let's return to base and I would actually <laughs> launch my other core set if I had one let's just go to the condor then Well, he survived. I don't know what's happened if you get uh, your dropships shot down, if you lose all your soldiers or what would happen. But uh, should, I should lose it, I think. Am I building anything? Nope. Don't have enough money for it anyways, but I would like another Corsair, I think. I'm not sure what I would like to build. I guess the Corsair will, will be really good when I have uh, discovered this new uh, plasma, plasma guns for it. Right, so now we have the Quantum Cryptology Center. So it's this building and, and it will tell us about uh, what kind of uh, missions our UFOs are doing. So we can see if they are uh, going for a base to a base to get some supplies or if they are doing research missions or terror missions. So that's really good. But now we have rapid fire plasmas. So we can build the interceptor auto cannon as well as a machine gun for our infantry. I also think perhaps we can have one on our vehicles as well. Hmm. Yeah, look at this. Plasma bolts. Mm -hmm. So we can have it in our point defense uh, in our bases, which means that it would be easier to shoot down any kind of assault UFOs. It would be easier to shoot them down, easier with base defense. And I think it will also give us additional weapons for our vehicles as well. So what should we go with now? Alien plasma cannon? I think we have already made quite advance on energy weapons. So I'm thinking about uh, researching other stuff. I like the jumpsuit don't think it will lead to anything new and I don't have any, any money for building anything at that anyways so let's just research things that I think will unlock unlock more research how much is a plasma caster it will cost a lot I guess 120,000 yeah that ain't going to happen in the near future That's actually kind of strange. I mean, I think we are doing pretty well, but money-wise we are in a bit of a trouble. Okay, so now we have another hangar in Indochina. So I'm thinking about if I should send any kind of aircraft over there. I mean, I have three condors in uh, Central America. 
think I should uh, send one foxtrot to, to Indochina instead. Makes sense. So I have two condor or two foxtrots at, at any base. Because that should be enable me to deal with any kind of uh, landing crafts and things, things like that. Let's send the foxtrot out to look for any bases. Still think there was a lot of activity up here, so. can also check that okay we have uh, a poor relation with Australasia so might be a uh, base somewhere around here or I guess that South America has the highest or the lowest predicted change minus 21,000 so that might be site for an alien base. Alright, so we have research alien armor plating. I don't think I have ever read this before. I'm not sure what it really does, but I think it unlocks unlocks more research, perhaps some new ships or armor. Yeah. Some really cool research. So the Marauder is Kind of jack of all trades aircraft and the predator assault armor is really heavy armor that makes your ground troops like walking tanks and the assault shield is an upgrade for our shield for our infantry And since I don't have enough money for building a Marauder or Predator, I will just research Assault Shield. Makes most sense. So now we can see this. This is a ma Before we could only see that it was a medium one and uh, like the speed. But now we can see it will do a ground attack. It has civilians and inheritance. No escort. So two fox shots should be enough to deal with it. It's actually, I wonder if uh, this ground attack is that it will attack my base, because it's heading right to it. I get that feeling at least. Come on, there is UFOs everywhere. <laughs> An additional one. Whoa, this is not good. We'll have to... Try to see who it will go for. Okay. It will... Uh... Can you turn off your autoburner? Thank you. And you as well. You should just launch your missiles. Let's see if this is enough. Nope. Hmm. Oh. Oops, I'm almost at edge. I'm not sure how to deal with this. Load the plasma torpedoes and now head the. This will not end good. Nope. Oh well. So I should have tailed the UFO first before attacking it. The more you know, kids. Yeah, I don't like that uh, this uh, one is beelining it towards my base. Oh, 
Like this looks like a better position to be in from behind like this. Much cleaner kill. No, it's actually not heading for my Central America. Could use auto resolve. Might be a better idea since I'm quite uh, bad at this. Oh well. You have to learn sometime. Let's see who is tailing. It's actually tailing this guy. So you should uh, get behind him. Yikes! Hmm. Ah, um. oh. <laughs> almost. Well, let's just. Killing with the other guy then. Yeah, I still need some uh, training, I think. Will I be able to deal with this uh, crash site before night time? Might actually be able to do that. So let's check our soldiers. I have one wolf armor I could give someone. Do we have anyone that is tempted to use one? Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure. We have any we have a plasma rifle so if we have one with high accuracy like this one hmm let's actually give uh, Christopher odd one plasma rifle let's see if anyone has high strength I mean, yeah, she, she has high strength, but she's already using the explosive weapon. I mean, I would prefer to have... Uh, I would prefer to have... Uh, one of these mashing guns, I think. But my soldiers are so bad, so they can't really handle it. And uh, no Nora, she's so slow. She has so little health, so she will not be able to carry it, carry it anyway. Oh well, let's not uh, use any one of those then. Yeah, as usual my B team, oh I should have upgraded the um, weapon for my scout car, I wonder if it still has a laser weapon, yeah it has, it's too bad. Where am I in the map? Hmm. 
actually kind of in between the east and the south side. Cannot see anything over here. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure about this. At least the landing zone looks clear. Here, back here, and uh, because of all you could actually stand over here, and then we have our sniper, which I would like to have in some kind of position where you can fire to the south and to the east as well, and to the north. So we should kind of be somewhere around here, but that's dangerous since you have no armor. Let's have you stand behind uh, Zoe here. Mm. Phew! Nice one. <laughs> Christopher Odd saves our ass. And it was a landing ship. Or was it? Yeah, I think it was. Which means there can be plenty of these. Reapers. Since I have my B squad, I should really try to stick together, I think. It will take... Or it will be much slower. But uh, I need to... Keep my soldiers safe. Don't really need to group up too much. Let's have my scouts car covering this side first of all. Come on, it's a light pole. Can't you just run it down? Well, okay, a civilian inside the corner. In the corner. Okay, let's bring my sniper into the aircraft again. I would like you to check behind these, but uh, then you would be on your own again. A civilian shooting at the Reaper. Let's do some scouting. There's a uh, local forces here, but I think he has a shotgun, so it shouldn't be him that. Does it sound like uh, pistol fire? Could uh, cover this window. So we you cover over six. And let's try to get our sniper in some kind of firing position. And have our Rocketeer out of the way. Did they uh, no. I thought they, they killed the Reaper, but I think it survived. It sounded like it hit someone. So now we have one Reaper and one zombie at least. Most likely more than that, but 
as at least everyone I have heard. So that guy has some armor, I think. So it will be a warrior or something. One hundred and seven damage, and he didn't die. Okay. Now my scout car in, is in a bad position, and it's also in the way for any of my other guys to shoot. So it's not optimal. So I could stand here and could I shoot over here? Yeah, I actually can. That would be a trick shot, but you never know. Mm. Feels like uh, Soto is in line of fire wherever. <laughs> Doesn't matter wh where I stand, he will always be in line of fire. Let's stand back here. He might see me if he runs over here and then take a shot, but he should prioritize my scout car anyways, since it has a bigger hitbox, much easier to hit. Four damage from one shot. I would like to have a repair kit for my scout car. Yeah, he was almost dead. For the last shot, even with all that healing, he still died from one more. Feeling I'm overextending myself again. If I run any further than that. Right. Let's bring my sniper forward as well as my heavy explosive guy. Christopher Odd, oh, should you stand here with the reactionary fire? I don't think that's a, such a good idea since you might shoot our scout car instead. So we watch our six. I think I will lose my scout car this <laughs> on this map. Already at half health for one shot. But as long as uh, I get experience on my B team, it will be worth it. Let's check out his weapons. Alien Heavy Plasma. Mm. I think they should have uh, made the, the weapons easier to distinguish because I still think that every single weapon from the aliens looks almost the same. Whoa. We have contact. Should I head back? I think that might be the right choice right now. There's like no cover at all over here. 
should like to have my sniper in position. The problem is that I'm not too keen on standing back here because it feels like I'm going to be flanked soon. It's out of range. Hmm. Stand like that. Mm, I guess we can run inside the building and around like this. Still, just see that same guy, yeah. I'm not sure where I could stand, that should be safe enough. Let's just head back like this. He shouldn't be able to hit me through the window. Come on! Resisted? How could I resist the uh, grenade? Makes no sense. Did he try to throw at uh, that uh, security guard or did he s see me in some strange way? Where did his friend go? Hmm. Not sure what's happening right now. No, cannot head back. Can head back in here at least. Where did that guy go? Did he run back behind this? Okay, there is one. Hmm. Let's try to shoot this wall down. No one behind that, that either. Hmm. Okay, now my sniper is in a bad position. Because this guy can just run through over here. have a huge cover in that uh, door but yeah I'm not certain that this will end well well the zombie so I should be on the lookout for any um, reapers there, that, there is that guy if I run around this corner I should have line of sight yes I have and I can kneel and take a shot. 
84, 87 damage. That's really nice. So now he's looking at this direction. Oh, he has one of these heavy plasmas. Man, you cannot hit for shit. Come on. Can I find a firing angle? Behind this car, yeah. I can, but I cannot utilize it. It's a civilian over here as well. At least I have my shotgun guy as well, but... Hmm. How many time units will it take for me to do like this? It's very unlikely that I will kill him. <laughs> uh, feels like I'm uh, firing blanks. I will have to deal with this guy as well. To walk in stairs, do you? Okay, fine. Try, try to take a shot over here then. Oh, come on. It's one giant lizard, and you are all missing. He's not even suppressed, that's my biggest concern. Yeah, someone is going to die now. Could try to run over here and take a shot, but I not tempted to leave that guy alive either. Just hope this shot hits and kill it in one. Yeah, that's always something, but yeah, this guy. I guess she is dead. Well, okay. I didn't suppress him and I didn't hit him, but he didn't hit me no, nor suppress me either, so I guess we are even. I think it's out of range for suppression from my shotgun there. These guys, a eh? little bit too close, I think. But yeah, it worked out all right in the end. Mostly because of Christopher Odd killing the Reaper on his own. Hmm. Oh, 
there's the Reaper. Okay, he went to the north, northwest. Let's try to keep on his tail because I don't want to lose sight of him. Yeah, there is, there is hiding. <laughs> have to uh, say that that felt kind of good but killing this guy was almost better okay can you reload nope not enough time units Extend ourselves again. Bring our shotgunner down. Hmm. So we take a look behind us. All looks good. We can bring our sniper forward as well. I think my scout car got destroyed. <laughs> yeah. Now I would really like to have my sniper in position because that's the weapon that uh, killed all my guys in one of the previous missions. And it's uh, like uh, makes your armor almost useless. At least what uh, that's what I think because it have one shot my uh, guys in wolf armor. I guess he's over here somewhere. Should I have Zoe stand in the front like this? He's really low on HP. Let's head out of line of sight first. I didn't even get to see him, I just saw the shot coming. Okay, we cannot see anyone over here. Okay, there he is. Can we use this rocket launcher? We might be able to do it, but uh, it's a big might. I mean, there is a car in the way. We don't really have the time units to even go back all the way. Hmm. Okay, here's the spacecraft. Let's not deal with it right now. We have enough on our plates. I think this uh, blocks our view as well, so we shouldn't be able to take a pot shot at us. Not sure about the best way to deal with this guy. He will just take a peek and then shoot at this guy most or at her. So perhaps I should uh, bring my sniper somewhere around here. 
since I'm mostly looking for an angle for the next turn if I survive. Okay. We are actually still alive. Let's see if he's still standing behind here. Yeah, he is. This is our last rocket. So what I could do, I guess, is to have... Hmm. I'm beelining it back. Hmm. think he will see me back here. Well, he should be able to see me from here somewhere. But if he kills Nora, that's actually okay with me. Must have Christopher Odd sneak around back, I think. How about our shotgunner? Yeah, this is a bit risky, I think, keeping two of my guys back here. I just hope he walks forward instead. Don't know about the AI's behavior. Okay, he's almost at the uh, edge of this. Here we have a clean shot, almost. Don't kill this guy. Whoa, headshot! Nora, you are my savior. Even with 37 HP. I will never talk bad about you again. I wonder if you can revive your uh, scout car. Even if I should uh, focus on building scimitar tanks now. I think. Mm. Sniper closer again. Some aliens on the UFO. say that I feel safe. I'm feeling the opposite of safe. Unsafe. Because uh, progressing towards the UFO with these low time units guys, it's uh, taking quite some time. Now the only rocket we have is a stunning rocket. It's not bad, but um, the problem is that um, it's not effective on the first round. It's like a de delayed effect. They might be able to shoot me 
after they have been hit by the stunning rocket. But, uh, let's try to make some progress here. Might be dangerous to send over here, but I'm kind of losing my patience with this mission. So let's just make some progress by getting our soldiers killed. By aliens abusing the door. Nope. Alright then. So what's our plan of attack? Bring the guy with the shield in front, and that's always a good tactic. And have our rocket nearby. Yeah. Hmm, there is someone that is opening a door outside the UFO that might be a civilian. Let's behind, check behind this wall. Okay. So the outside is secure. We can move closer. It's just like one of these ordinary dudes, but he got a friend as well. My chance of uh, suppressing both of these are non-existent, so... Let's do like this then. They sat quite far away, so they shouldn't be able to walk all, over, all the way over here and then open the door and throw a grenade at us. I hope. So I will actually bring my people closer. Uh, perhaps my sniper shouldn't stand in front like that though. No. I'm not sure about how they resist damage, but it's okay with me. Before I've lost uh, like always people to these grenades. Hopefully we have some uh, Healing kits. Hmm. Have a sniper. <laughs> Man, this is a little bit silly. Do you have a medkit? No, you do not. Not just offer either. Is it only the sniper that has a healing kit? No, the, that guy as well. 
<laughs> okay. Problem is that he might panic from being uh, from bleeding, I guess. So I would like to heal him up as quickly as possible. of this team. Fully healed, nice. Not enough time units though to swap back a weapon. Reload uh, that gun. I should kind of give him some more ammunition I think. For a shotgun, but it's okay. Well, you don't have to kneel because you will run inside the next turn. The good thing with that he threw a grenade is that I think my shield is still at 100%. Nope, it's not. Okay, never mind then. So let's equip our sniper rifle. Who will do the honors of opening this door? Let's have our Rocketeer doing it, since she will be the least useful during the assault at least. Hmm. I can stand in the middle, I think. I can close the door. I think there will only be aliens on the top floor now. So you should check the six like that. Thank you. Right, that's one dead reaper. I thought that the corpse looked different. I'm concerned about if there is elite reapers. It's almost like we can handle them now because they are starting to get uh, one shot, one shotted a bit more in the plasma rifles. So might give me a false sense of security. Mm, let's just go in there. Our sniper inside, she's a sitting duck with no armor, but... Whoa, they are actually moving around inside here. He ran a lot, actually. All the way into the corner. Hmm. So who should do the honors? Let's try some auto fire. Only 40 damage, not impressive. He managed to walk all the way over here and still had reactionary fire. But now he be dead. Right, this room is clear as well. Yeah, this assault will take some time since I'm using these weak guys and also all they need to do is throw one more grenade and I might be toast. I 
don't think they can shoot down the elevators. I hope not. Let's reload as well. It sounds this should be a good moment to reload and uh, get ready. I mean, I still hear that they are opening some kind of doors. Which makes me uh, nervous about that they should be running around upstairs. But okay, they're not. They're not doing that. Right, one alien over there, and one over there. And that's the officer. I actually think you guys have to stand like this in front of the door. It's super safe. Concerned about friendly fire. Because since they open the doors, that means that there should be one more alien closer to the door because I don't think they run over here, open the door and run back again. So there will be one more alien somewhere closer. So now we might be getting reactionary fire in our backs as well as into the front. So no? Yeah, because these guys are not the officer, so... That's not the officer as well. Didn't we have one officer here? Perhaps not. Mm. Could try to throw a flashbang here, but that uh, might trigger reactionary fire. But whatever I do, I will most likely trigger reactionary fire. None of them got suppressed, so. Try one more then. That's better. Yikes! Alright, there is the officer. Hopefully he will get stunned from the gas, but it's not guaranteed in any way. And this guy will most likely throw a grenade at us. So I think the best thing we can do right now is to go back. Close this door, cover this area for the that officer and uh, hope that we have enough reactionary fire. Oops, that's not a good place to stand, but he will most likely run up here and throw a grenade or something. I don't think I will. Oh, come on, I only have one shot here. I don't know how much time it will take to reload. <laughs> Can you just take an aim shot then? Hmm. 
Yeah, well, let's see what happens. I didn't even get stunned. Right. Oops, no. So he will be sitting here, waiting with reactionary fire. These guys have only half their time units since I suppressed them last turn. Decent uh, firing, at least. Okay, one down. One down, free to go. Um, still have a problem with this. Officer here. The next turn these guys will be able to shoot as well. At least when I stand over here. They have 100% block from these panels. Which means that I could try to have some shootout with this guy, but I only have 19 HP. And I'm very unlikely to make him uh, suppressed oh, I can actually shoot at this guy from over here let's take uh, kind of a normal shot and see if I'm able to reload after that or like take a, let's take a snapshot I couldn't even reload after a snapshot Okay, that's really bad. I'm not sure if taking cover behind this thing is really a good idea. Nope, I'm not. Oops, did I stand with him over here? Oh well, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't planning to do that. Sorry. At least now they are clumping up. Now I would like to have a rocket or at least ammunition. <laughs> um, I don't really have any of that. Two of these guys. Now oh, they are all suppressed. What if I had some ammunition right now? That would be great. My 37 HP heavy or explosive girl is standing in front like that. Come on, make them bleed. Hmm. 
I am tempted to run in here and take a, aim, or a burst shot at this guy. But after that I'm a sitting duck, so... We shouldn't have two grenades, do we? I don't like the trend that I'm uh, losing one soldier every mission now. <laughs> Just look at the, these guys' health. Yeah. Sergeant Eric Huge, you will be remembered. But 15 aliens for my B squad and only 65,000. And also, I lost one vehicle. So, it wasn't really an economic success, but uh, hopefully, the promotions makes it worth it. But thanks, you guys, for watching this episode, and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.